I got involved with the spiders and space experiments back in 2007, 2008, when I was contacted by an employee, Stephanie Countryman from Biosurf Space Technologies, and that's a company in Boulder. They work very closely with scientists and teachers and other people who want to design experiments that can be sent to the International Space Station. So Biosurf works with them and works with NASA. They sort of serve as a liaison company to design how the experiments need to be, uh, what kind of equipment needs to be designed so that it meets NASA standards. And Biosurf wanted to send spiders, orb-weaving spiders, up to the International Space Station. That had been done back in 1972 when two spiders, Arabella and Anita, were sent to Skylab in the 1970s with the whole idea of seeing if orb-weaving spiders could build webs in space. And they found that, yes, they could, but in that early experiment, they didn't have a ready supply of food or water for those spiders. So there were some problems with the design. And Bioserve wanted to redesign the experiment. I recommended, uh, they, they had already designed a habitat uh, that looks like this. In fact, this was the, the control habitat that was used uh, on Earth to compare with what was going on in space. So they designed this habitat in such a way that they could put fruit flies in it in a little trough in the very front of the habitat. So this trough had fruit flies. And when I was talking with, with uh, Bioserve, I said, well, that's great, but you know, spiders can go a long time without food. They need water. They can't go very long without water. And that was one of the problems probably of the early Skylab experiment. So they designed these side chambers where the little door could be opened or closed and we could put water in those side chambers and then filter it up with a cotton wick to the main habitat where the spiders would be. So I helped them kind of think about the design of the habitat. And then I got to go down to Kennedy Space Center and help load the, the arachnonauts into the habitat and hand, them off, hand off the experiment to the NASA personnel to load onto the shuttle that was heading up to the International Space Station. At the time, that was towards the end of the shuttle missions. But that's how I got involved is through Bioserve. And subsequent to that original experiment, sending the original orb weavers or the 2008 orb weavers, I also helped with two other experiments. One was a jumping spider experiment. And then in, and also in 2011, we sent a couple of different kinds of orb weavers up. And the whole idea is to see how these relatively simple organisms, how can they survive in a near zero gravity environment or in zero gravity? Um, are they able to function normally? Are they able to adapt to that very strange uh, environment?